Do you know who Iron Mouse is? Lately, she's become one of the most hot topics, especially since all the hatred that she's been getting. And so today we're going to be watching. We need to talk about the Iron Mouse situation from Connor Dog because he made an, an amazing video to kind of talk about the situation that's happening between her and just the VTubing scene in general. So let's go watch it and be educated. This video is going to be a long winded rant. And if you like that, welcome. Come join the angry British man. Thank you. And if not, don't worry. My normal videos will resume after this one. I just had to talk about this. I feel like online lately, it, it has been a miserable experience for any of us to be online. And I actively feel that my mental health gets drained slowly. Using any No, that's true. Actually, I don't know what's been going on lately, but it feels like every single time I'm on social media, especially Twitter, right? It It's almost like you go on the internet to feel sad or like the internet is alchemated in a way where it's just meant to make you be upset or angry and like it's it's hard to be on twitter for more than like 10 minutes now any online platform especially uh, my personal case twitter i think twitter allowing people to make money from ads is probably one of the worst changes to any platform i completely forgot you can make <laughs> money from ads on Twitter. I completely forgot that's like a thing now. Cause yeah, um, literally ever since that, even before that, Twitter has been going down just a rampage of just rage bait and like just bait content in general. But yeah, I noticed that ever since like advertisements on Twitter and on TikTok, there's just more triggering topics always being shown. In history. Sure. I get $20 here and there for tweeting a funny picture <laughs> of my <laughs> giant monkey. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, sure, I get twenty dollars. He looks so, <laughs> he looks so out of it. <gasps> oh my god, I want that dinosaur behind me. But there are those who use it to spread misinformation, lies, just make stuff up, spew absolute vile. Oh my god, Connor looks really tired. You can tell this this video has been weighed on him. Hatred stuff. It, it's pretty horrible experience mm -hmm. to use it now as Twitter seems to feel like it only wants outragement bait or tweets that'll make people angry and, and yep. if you're not seeing that you're seeing somebody get killed so it's really okay now i am very thankful i haven't seen that because i that would be awful to see but no he's right like it just seems like again pretty much you kind of have to have like a gamble where you go on the internet and there's like a 50 50 saying like percent chance you're going to get triggered it's just a miserable experience overall and don't get me started on tiktok and instagram which are mm. famous for their brutal comments mm -hmm. and i wouldn't really even use the word brutal because i think brutal can sometimes mean there's a bit of honesty and fun there but i would say it's just cruel like just being no that's true and if you think about it though connor it's that like a lot of kids are on tiktok now like that is like you know the new fun thing for I guess when we were growing up, we were on like Omegle and Tiny Chat URL and stuff like that, right? So this is like that generation's version of online social media. And like kids are just really cruel and mean. They say some of the nastiest stuff and that's, it's always been like that. And the only difference is that more children are online and on the internet. So of course you're gonna be getting more people who are saying mean and spiteful things because that's what they do in school. And now that like we're all online, of course, they're going to carry all that mean and nastiness on the internet. Now, that doesn't mean that when you become an adult, you're suddenly a holier than thou, like perfect angel. Oh, no, you're still pretty like mean. In general, people are mean and they have always been mean. The only difference now is that a lot more people are online. So now we have to see more mean people online right now is cruel it feels like nobody has any respect for each other but i don't think mm. i've quite lost as much faith in the internet as i have until now but look i'll be honest mm. this video is about one thing it's about the weird blanket hatred towards vtubers i've seen a massive massive hate train against iron mouse which i don't understand and i know that you guys aren't the ones doing this yeah. uh, you guys watching this video are very normal and well-adjusted people and i appreciate that but oh my god i'm normal did you hear that? I'm normal. I am like the most normalest normal of person you'll ever see in your life. I'm very, very normal now. He said it, so it's true. There are a lot of people online that seem to just have fun ruining other people's lives. I yeah. don't understand it. Now, you're probably... Because, because bullies. Because bullies, Connor. Bullies, literally. Like I said, bullies have always existed. They have always done mean, nasty stuff like this. The only difference is that it was never online as much as it is now. A lot of people are just taking their evil nastiness and putting it online. Probably wondering, why am I bringing all of this up? Well, well don't worry. It'll always... VTubers, that's why. 
accents, just just get along for the ride and listen to the weird British man rant at you. You see, in 2024, oh. Iron Mouse broke the all-time sub record on Twitch. It was a massive achievement. It was, I'm sure, an amazing and an inspiring moment for all. So about that, you know, <laughs> when Iron Mouse had broken that achievement, right? Like getting the most amount of subscribers. You want to know what people were saying? I don't know if Connor's going to bring this up, but people were saying like, oh, it doesn't really count because, you know, during her like subathon, Twitch was also giving out subs for every like, what was it? Like five gifted, like they would also give out subs. So, you know, she had a helping hand with her goal and how like she didn't really earn it like the amount of copium people have towards iron mouse is insane all of us as well as mouse unfortunately probably what you didn't see was the deluge of vile comments disturbing mm -hmm. threats and just overall hatred towards mouse and i'd love to tell you that this all started here and it's pretty much gone with now but sadly this is a thing that has been going on for a very very long time and, and and it's been getting worse too. I remember she recently, like, oh, no, not recently, a while back, she had a Diablo stream and so many people wouldn't stop harassing her and saying just evil, nasty things about her. It's fascinating because I actually made a video talking about it on my main channel a while back because I just couldn't believe how many people were just raging and attacking Mousy over her accomplishments. And a lot of them kept saying like, especially on TikTok, they're like, oh, why don't you post this on Instagram? Why don't you post this on Instagram? And it's because Instagram doesn't have as heavy as a moderation team like TikTok does. Surprisingly, TikTok has a really good moderation system put in place to detect like spam and hateful content. So of course they're telling her to go on Instagram so that way they can say more mean, unfiltered things to her. It is completely like deranged and just, it's like, it's a weird obsession to have. And this is not just for Mouse. VTubers in general have had to deal with a lot of sh just for being an anime girl or boy on the internet. So, okay, hold on, I gotta read that, wait. Hold on. Okay, hold on. <laughs> VTubers are cringe, lazy, and fake. First of all, you didn't spell VTuber, right? If you're gonna hate on something, why don't you actually spell the thing correctly that you, you're trying to hate on? I find it very sicky. <laughs> Maybe this person doesn't know how to use grammar or spell it anyways. How VTubers, most especially Hololive members, get so many fans and white knights with a capital k i know this is a cliche no punctuation but as far as i know they could be a 300 pound man sitting in his mom's basement i just can't muster the courage to survive more than 10 seconds of any vtuber content most of the time they have no personality and play on the over sexualized avatar i frequently watch podcasts and commentary youtubers and i prefer quality over some cringy and fake avatar <laughs> my best sum up of vtubers is they are corporate manufactured characters to exploit parasocial relationships. This is just my opinion and I don't actively be toxic or degrade them, but I do hate them with a burning fashion. I do watch anime and read manga. This is just my opinion, but um, I don't want to be actively toxic or degrade them. Meanwhile, saying that they have no personality and play on the over-sexualized avatar. I don't know, man. It seems like you're being uh, actively toxic and degrading them. So, and then also assuming that they're a 300 pound man sitting in mom's basement. And I'm wondering if it's because you saw that one clip of of that one VTuber whose face camera had malfunction and turned out to be a guy, which a funny story about that, a lot of his fan base knew he was a guy already. And like, that is not the representation of the entire VTuber platform. It's actually very fascinating how a lot of these like, I guess, quote unquote, weeaboos think that they understand why the VTuber market is so popping off because of these overly sexualized fake avatars, which, you know, Sure, there are gooners in VTubers community. Like, yes, there are definitely gooners. However, I feel like a lot of people are not considering how women are viewed in content creation in general. So I used to be an IRL content creator before I was a VTuber. And one of the biggest reasons why I became a VTuber is because I would get made fun of a lot for how I looked because I didn't do what the normal Twitch meta for female creators are, which is like, you know, the hot tub streams and bikini stuff. And I'm not saying this to throw shade at those women, but I never made that kind of content. And because I never made that kind of content, I would get made fun of a lot for not, I guess, sexualizing myself. And the other weird part is that I look really, really really young for my age i just i don't go out in the sun so because if you didn't know sun damages your skin and it ages you so a lot of people 
would constantly question my age and I would get a lot of reports about looking too young on stream and people just thought I was like a kid or something. And so becoming a VTuber has erased that whole tension within my content. I don't need people to comment about, wow, you look so young. Like, am I like, are you even old enough to like be on this platform and streaming? Like, are you even old enough to be drinking? And like all that, like, I don't have to deal with that anymore. And it's nice because I can, you know, make my avatar look however I want. If I want to change my hair, if I want to get like a new uh, outfit, if I want to um, do all sorts of like crazy stuff with myself, I can. And it's actually really nice. There's a lot of like, artistic expression that you can do with VTubing and this person honestly I personally feel like they're the type of anime watcher who does that whole like oh subs are better than dubs and if you watch dubs you're cringe and you should like go yourself or something like they they strike me as the kind of person who has a very skewed view of like what is considered pure content for anime and just I don't know there, there's like, there is an archetype of a personality with this kind of person. Like, and it's not a large percentage of the anime scene. However, you know what it is? You know what it is? It's probably the normie weeaboos. You know what I mean? Like, you know how like anime has become more mainstream and it's a lot of like the normies who really didn't give anime like a chance, but then they watch like One Piece or something and suddenly like they're such a huge anime nerd or something like that. I think that's the archetype for this. I could be wrong. That's what this person strikes me as, which of course they're not gonna like VTubers because they didn't even like anime to begin with until they got into some mainstream anime that made them like kind of like anime on like the most surface level, which unfortunately is the majority of the new anime population. Just for being an anime girl or boy on the internet. So let's go back in time a little bit so that we can better understand the full scope of this. And by the way, if you're wondering why I know all this stuff, it's because I wrote research papers on people like this when I used to study cosplayers and why cosplay was such a big thing. And I had predicted that eventually we would do virtual stuff with anime characters. So I kind of predicted VTubers in my research paper. My professor told me I was crazy, but you know, I bet you that professor is wondering how the f I knew what the shit I knew. Mass. Yes, you got me. This is a video about me defending my friend. 100%, I I'm not even trying to hide. Can we talk about that handcuff there for a minute? Hold on, I wanna see that again. Mass. Yes, you got me. This is a video about- <laughs> I know this is a serious topic, but I love Connor's editing. I Every time I watch Connor's stuff, he always has very clever editing. I love that kind of stuff. Me defending my friend, 100%. I, I'm not even trying to hide that. But I also just want to bring a tiny bit of attention to the level of normalized hate that is just yep. for some reason acceptable. And hopefully that, you know, maybe this video can make a tiny bit of a change. Because what some of these creators have to endure is on a level that I've never seen before on the internet. And I've been here for a very long time. Four years ago, VTubers had a... Oh my guys, that's me, Moe! It's Gura! Massive explosion in popularity here in the And that's Mori? I'm kind of blocking her, but you know, you get it. Now, obviously they've been around in Japan for He's a while. He's in very Japanese coded, uh, but you know, four years ago they blew up and people started getting into them. However, there was a lot of pushback from people like me included who were kind of like, what is this? I don't know what this is. But no, that's true. Um, <coughs> No, that's actually true. I believe Connor was like super weirded out by VTubers for the longest time because he just didn't understand it. Cause again, gosh, I don't, I'm not trying to, you know what? No, I'll throw the anime community under the bus. Why not set my comment section on fire with this? As someone who has been a part of the anime scene for a long time, I can definitely say that I have talked to a lot of other anime fans who once they are set in stone with one particular type of anime, they will reject everything else. So what I mean by that is there are had, there has always been arguments about the subbed versus the dubbed. There's also been arguments about anime versus the manga and how like if you change what the manga was originally supposed to do for the anime you know then the anime is completely garbage and all this other stuff these polarizing opinions are really the foundation of the anime community and it's also why it keeps the anime community like always trending for like arguments and stuff like that <clears throat> so it does not surprise me that People like Connor would be apprehensive to want to engage in VTuber activity because it's not like how normal anime is, especially if your avatar is not anime-esque. Like there are a lot of different types of VTuber avatars that exist. And if you are not doing the anime aesthetic style avatar, 
you also get a lot of pushback for that. However, I've been seeing less of that lately. Um, it seems like a lot more people are accepting of other art styles, especially in the West now. And I think it's because you're starting to attract the non like anime traditional fans. And I'm especially noticing a lot of this for like 3D models. It has taken so much time to get people to like 3D VTuber models. I like it, but I don't know, I don't know yet. I don't know, I gotta see. And I'm sure any VTuber who was around in this era could tell you the amount of hatred that was given out towards VTubers. Like, why are you using a voice changer? Are you a man? Are you an AI, perhaps? You know, pretty uninspired, insulting comments. And during this boom is when a lot of people found Iron Mouse as well. Now, Iron Mouse had actually been streaming a long time before this as well, but it wasn't until this moment where a lot of VTubers were on Twitch and kind of getting their viewership. Now, obviously, VTubers choose to be uh camilla and is that onigiri yeah that's onigiri oh my god i don't remember her boobs being that big god damn dude they're like falling out of her holy <sighs> maybe one day i can get something like that presented by an avatar for a multitude of reasons but for mouse it was for anonymity which is why most vtubers do it and now look i i cannot talk for mouse you know mouse is mouse is her own person but you know mouse has been sick for a very very long time with a multitude of illnesses, but the main one being primary immune deficiency. Primary immune deficiency is slightly different to autoimmune diseases mm. that you might have heard about. Autoimmune diseases are where your uh, immune system- That looks like that candy in Jimmy Neutron that makes people like really that one episode where everyone's like obsessed with jimmy's candy sorry but like this is something that a lot of people will make fun of iron mouse for like just it, it's really sad because people try to say that she is faking her illness and it's it's sad because it's like okay she can't go outside without getting really, really sick. She has to have someone take care of her like pretty much for the rest of her life. And with these type of illnesses, you have to be really, really careful. Like I'm pretty sure like the people who are taking care of her, like family or a caretaker, cause um, some context, my mom used to be a caretaker for someone who was very sick like this. And unfortunately she passed away a couple of months ago and and you know why she passed away she got pneumonia and so my, i remember my mom and when i would like go visit her too i would have to like disinfect myself before entering and stuff and like re it really had to disinfect everything before i could even say hi and like see her because just a little if i had like anything on me that could have potentially like, gotten her sick it's a very serious thing and I, I just don't think people realize it because it's all online and it's a lot easier to just not view it as real because it's not in your face. System kind of attacks itself, whereas primary immune deficiency means that your immune system just doesn't work or doesn't work very well. And I'm yeah. sure a lot of my viewers are familiar with this because I'm always raising money for charities that want to find cures and support people with primary immune. Can never get it right. Primary immune deficiencies. <laughs> I mess it up all the time. When you have a really bad case of primary immune deficiency, it means that stuff like vaccines don't yeah. work on you. It means that you're worried about getting sick constantly from everything. Whereas maybe you and I could eat a bunch of dirt, maybe going even near dirt or someone who's slightly ill 20 feet away could easily get you sick or give you a bad case of pneumonia. This disease means that Mouse mm -hmm. pretty much can't interact with anyone and can't leave her room. And even if- Like I said, I remember how much we had to disinfect and like clean before I could even like say hi to her. And it's, I mean, she passed away at age, I wanna say 70. So she lived a really long life. My mom had been taking care of her for um, I don't know, like, I think maybe, like, over a, a decade or something. Like, I, I remember being really young when I first met her, and, like, my mom ha was working in, like, as a personal care assistant for a very long time. So, like, when you think of it, maybe it's just because I have experience with stuff like this, so I'm a lot more understanding, but if you have never had this kind of experience, if you've never met anyone, because guess what? They most likely didn't go to school. They probably got homeschooled or stuff like that, right? And... People would like to say that Iron Mouse is just faking her illness because suddenly she's been getting better and <clears throat> all this other stuff. And like, you know, it's crazy because in my opinion, one of the reasons why my the lady that my mom was taking care of struggled so much is just money and financial stuff. Like there is like a lot of assist financial assistance stuff if you're lucky to get it, which she was. But she didn't have a lot of money outside of that. So getting these treatments and getting stuff to like take care of this person is very expensive and if you didn't know iron mouse is like the most famous english-speaking vtuber and she makes a lot of money now so she has more access to like resources and more treatments and stuff because of course it's very expensive so when you have more treatment that you're able to get access to you're gonna feel a lot better and like it's crazy to think how 
people can be so blindly jealous that they try to say that she fakes this illness. It's it's so it's copium. She wanted to, Mouse was disabled for a very long time, and has slowly started to regain the ability to walk, yep. thanks to being able to finally support premium healthcare. Yay, yes. love America. So this meant the only human contact the mm -hmm. mouse got was pretty much talking to her parents or very close family who mm -hmm. she was kind of already adjusted to and family who understood about the disease and took precautions. Yep. And look, I know this is a lot of information, but what I'm trying to get at is that you can only imagine how crushingly lonely this must be. Imagine not being able to leave your room Yes, we were all there during COVID. Ima yeah, yeah, we got to experience like a taste of that during COVID. Imagine that being your entire life. Like you can never go outside and have what all the other kids had growing up, right? To be able to go make those kind of connections. And the only connections you can really make is online. And so like, it, I feel like, you know, this is one of the bad things about becoming famous is that the more people who know you, the more haters you get because they can't understand why you're successful. And especially for like Iron Mouse, when you have like this alchemation of like VTubing in the illness and stuff, people will just, if they don't understand the illness, they can say whatever the hell that they want, right? But again, if you have the money and the means to afford, a, like Connor said, a premium healthcare, you will feel better because guess what? You can afford the medication because it, it's not cheap. It is so freaking expensive, especially in America because it's all private and not nonsense. But we at least knew that it was probably going to end at some point. And I'm sure many of yeah. you knew, me included, that this was awful for our mental health. Not being able to see the people that you care about or interact with friends or just have a casual interaction with a cashier person. Yep. These interactions that I'm sure all of us missed. And it was thanks to VTuber technology getting so much better and more accessible that Mouse was able to stream like me or like you or like any other big streamer. Mm -hmm. it, was, it, was, it was a level playing field. And on top of that, if you were a more artistically inclined person, you could show off your artistic skills by, you know, I don't know, costume design or singing or oh. lore or voice acting. There's so many- I actually, um, when I first started VTubing, I used like a pre- uh, not a pre-made, um, I, I had bought in some pre-made assets and I had like a 3D model. Then when I got my first live 2D model, it was art that I had bought in, like I adopted in a model. And then for my third, uh, rendition of myself, I had commissioned my own art style and then I actually did the rigging from my very first, I guess, custom model that I had gotten. And it was hard. It is not easy to, to draw and to animate your VTuber model. It's a lot of work and it costs a lot of money to have someone else do it for you. More facets to it than me raging a jump king. Mm. It's talent, okay? And one of the best clips of Mouse's early career <laughs> is that when she's trying to raise money to get a new medical bed. Uh, basically, normal beds, not good. They don't offer you support. They don't allow you to, like, mm -hmm. you know, go and, like, lie upright. Basically, a lot more support. She asked her viewers if they'd be willing to donate towards that. And within minutes, minutes, <laughs> they'd smash that goal. I don't like to call yep. my bed my work, my bed my bed. I don't like calling it my bed. It makes me feel very embarrassed. Mm. It makes me feel not so good. By the way, I just, I just want to point this out. You, you might notice that Iron Mouse's voice sounds a little different in this clip compared to how she sounds now. And if I remember correctly, this is because of the breathing tube that she's currently using right now to talk. Like she has a breathing tube. There is a clip of her and Connor having an interaction where Connor had comments about how she was talking and like she said, I'm adjusting like my breathing tube. And she doesn't talk about this a lot, but I'm pretty sure the reason why she sounds like this, this is before she was making all that money. So I'm pretty sure whatever breathing tube that she had wasn't probably the best fit for her compared to what she has now and like whatever care that she might have. So she does sound a lot different. And again, she wasn't getting as good as medical care. So look, look at this like donation bar and watch what's about to happen. So I like to call uh, my bed, my workspace, because that's where I am all the time. Max, thank you so much for the penalty. <gasps> She's so cute. God damn it! Oh. <laughs> that was too Now, thank you so much for the photo. Thank you. That $1,000 donation was insane and like she was able to afford that bed these medical beds are expensive and what's nice about that medical bed that she was able to get that her community helped fundraise she's able to rotate herself she's able to prop herself up like she needs to this is not cheap and like i i started um vtubing like four years ago and i remember when iron had hit that milestone like i remember watching the um like the stream of it after she had reached her goal and it was such an amazing accomplishment. And 
she is so freaking inspiring because like someone who has an illness like that who is able to go as far as she has become it gives me a lot of hope it gives a lot of the people who i talk to a lot of hope like she is the iconic like she is the vtuber icon now that a lot of people look up and aspire to because of how hard she has worked to get to where she is. I think a lot of people forget that Mouse didn't used to stream long. Mouse used to only yeah. stream for like an hour or two That's at a time. That's yeah. And then would go offline to take medication. Yep. But now feels comfortable enough to take the medication mm -hmm. and still keep streaming, which I think is an amazing thing and something that the outpouring support has allowed us to do. And obviously mm -hmm. VTubers do more than just talk and play crappy games like me. Some of them have <laughs> god tier singing skills. We all know that Mouse was training to be an opera singer. Okay, okay, okay. He's but, uh, yes, yes. I remember what she sounded like before all the singing training that she had she still had an amazing voice like uh, how she sounds now is jaw dropping oh my god like we should definitely one of these days like sit down and listen to all the different singings that um, mousy has gone through for her entire like career in these past four years it is insane what proper vocal training can do and like especially for singing and the, oh my gosh it I gotta let you listen Singer. to it. It's and so it good. Incredible. Listen to this. If you could look at me once more. Combine that with aesthetically pleasing designs that are constantly changing, and it's no wonder that VTubers eventually had their boom. Now, obviously, dude, her singing brings me to tears. Like, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Like, uh, I really hope one day I can learn to sing because I, I, I have always wanted to learn how to sing, but like, I, I never like to get vocal training is really expensive and. Like, I used to get made fun of a lot for my singing. I still, I, that's why I don't sing that much in my content. Cause yeah, I, I used to get bullied a lot for my singing voice. So I hope one day I too can learn how to sing and get training. And maybe one day I could do something like that. Like IMS, like I said, she is such a huge, huge inspiration for just what you can achieve if you work really hard for it. Twitch and YouTube have always been very gamer centric and gamer focused. Yeah. And gamers aren't exactly known for being the most chill and reasonable people. Look, I was a Call of Duty kid. If I said the things that I said in those lobbies and they were recorded, I would not be here today. I would not have a career or any any career. I was toxic, okay? Now look, I've been a content creator for 10 plus years. I don't know, like that's, uh, were you all toxic back, back in the Call of Duty era? I'm curious, let me know. Is online. It's been my entire adult life. I've been doing this for so long that I'm a fossil in internet years. And even before that. Connor, aren't you like 29 or 30? That's a fossil? I, I have no idea how old Connor is. I would pretty much only spend my time on the internet. And, and it was normal that as a creator that you would get some kind of hatred towards you or some people who would just blindly write mean comments. It, it was part of the job. Doesn't mean it's a good part or that we should accept it, but it's just kind of how it was. And because every creator would get a bunch of hate comments here and there, there was a kind of a mutual respect amongst creators that you wouldn't just blindly insult each other for no reason. You, you wouldn't insult someone you didn't know or you didn't have beef with. It was a thing that you could expect because that's how normal people behave. However, nowadays- So like, it's interesting because I remember the era of when Leafy was here where it was like a super big YouTube meta to just kind of make fun of people and to like bully people while playing some kind of game. Like it was like the commentary YouTuber part. And then you had like iDubs who would also do this content cop stuff. And then you had, um, oh my gosh, what's, what's that guy who, there was like another YouTuber who would make like these diss tracks on stuff. There, there was an era and on YouTube at one point where it was popular to just kind of like bully people just for the sake of like, bullying but it's like bullying in the sense of roasting like you would be roasting people and just like dissing them and you would do that in like a video and whatever and so leafy got banned and oh, i think they ha that other guy's name was rice gum i think that was his name but yeah so that was like a thing on youtube and it's kind of fascinating because back then it was just like okay we're just kind of like dissing each other right but leafy took it really far like he took it from it being like a dissing to just straight up just being unnecessarily mean which is kind of what connor's referring to where like before you had like a reason because typically you had beef with somebody and that's why you two would be arguing no leafy was kind of like the start of this whole like i just want to be mean just to be mean and leafy's community was really huge and big and his audience would go around attacking people doing these hiss hiss in the comments and stuff like that and there's a reason why leafy got banned for that because it was just it was harassment it was harassment and bullying and it's kind of interesting how that has never really gone away and 
there is this whole like animosity towards people that you just don't like it kind of feels like that's not the case anymore it feels like it's kind of encouraged or okay to punch down and make fun of other creators that you don't like or you think that something's weird about them and this has happened a lot with vtubers for example mm -hmm. in 2022 a massive tiktok creator noah glenn carter made a video mocking the fact that people wanted to meet mouse virtually oh my god yeah. i remember this, might this. Be the saddest video on the internet so I want you to take a look at all. Wait, okay, if we're gonna be making fun of people, I need to I need to comment. Where's his neck? All right, that's my one mean comment of the video. I'll be nice now. All these people, they were all trying to get the attention of a monitor. Basically, that's a popular VTuber on the monitor that was virtually attending an anime convention. And this whole crowd of people were following the monitor in hopes that they could get a picture with it. Now, Mind you, he's at an anime convention. Like that, that whole thing was at an anime convention. So, you know, it's like, I, I, I don't know, man. I feel like you'd be expecting that kind of stuff at anime conventions. Like, have you ever been to an anime convention? Do you know what happens at these cons? Because I do. I remember uh, a couple years ago when I was at... Katsukan. And I remember how crazy and wild Katsukan used to be before they upped the security. Like, we were throwing chairs off of the balconies, all right? Like, a chair almost hit my head and killed me. But gosh, that was such a fun convention. Man, anime congoers are wild. Like, they do party and all this other crazy stuff. And it's fun. It is a fun experience. But, like, when you understand the culture and the vibe of that kind of stuff, it's not weird for seeing, like, a VTuber going around on those, like, Oshi Live type of robots right i think that's the company that does all the robots there might be some other ones but i i, I know oshi life's the popular one and yeah it's like you're meeting your actual idol it's the same it's the same concept as like meeting your favorite cosplayer there it's the same concept as meeting your favorite voice actor at like one of the meet and greets it's really not that weird the only reason why like people think it's weird is because it's on a moving monitor. Ooh. Like it's really not that different from waiting in like a really long line for a typical meet and greet. And but but of course you know it's a VTuber, so it's it's like a weird like uh, AI thing, and I don't understand it. And blah 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 blah. Obviously, you and I know that Mouse can't leave her room, and this is the only way that Mouse can walk around a yep. convention or see any of her viewers yep. or any of those viewers can talk to Mouse. It's a rare experience for everyone involved and an amazing feat of technology that we can even do anything like this. Mm -hmm. And to his credit, he did apologize. This is an apology to a creator called- Oh my god, there's his neck. Oh my god, that, that jacket was not flattering on him at all. Oh, oh god, his neck is there. Iron Mouse because of this video. Now in my video on this, I called the video one of the saddest videos on the internet, which is completely unnecessary on my part. And Iron Mouse actually responded, clarifying that the people weren't even crowding her, but instead they were crowding somebody named Connor that was there. I'm really sorry to you, Iron Mouse, if you're watching. My video was completely unnecessary. I really hope that my mm -hmm. video didn't cause you any kind of negativity or anything. And I hate to break it to you, but it definitely did. But I guess good on you for Apollo. Oh my God, look at his profile picture. <laughs> Oh God, he's got the look. <laughs> that's that's very cute. I like I like that, but like you know, that's like the e boy kind of like profile picture to have. I like it, but um, I'm glad that he he learned his lesson and apologized. And again, I am so sorry if it did. I will mm -hmm. be deleting that video as soon as I post this one. First of all. Ouch. Second of all, you didn't think there was going to be any negativity? What do you mean by that? And now look, to, to Noah's credit- I think he knew. Like, it is- oh Gosh, it's the classic, like, it's a lot easier to ask for an apology. Or like, you know, like, ask for forgiveness later. You know what I mean? It's one of those types of situations, but man- he did apologize and take down the video. Uh -huh. and I, you know, I think that that needs to be commended as yep. a lot of people don't have the common decency to do that anymore. True. But-, but mm hmm would you would you not have taken it down if you if nobody complained if everyone joined in haha <laughs> let's make fun of it would you would you not have taken it down 100 percent. that's exactly what have, would have happened absolutely like i said it, yes that is that is correct you were right you're totally valid for saying that because it's true that is why i'm like it is insane how it is so easy to just hate something that slights you in a way or you just don't understand and like, yeah, and, and if, and here's the problem, it's a 50-50 chance. Like if he didn't get a lot of um, pushback from it, he probably would have kept it up. Well, did you take it down just because people were like, hey man, you're kind of a dick. The reason why I show you this is not because I want to send any hatred. This is two years ago. It does not matter. It, it's over. Do not send hatred 
towards another creator. And if you do, you are a piece of shit and you should not be here. But why? He's right though. Like seriously, just because him and I are talking about this stuff, that doesn't mean you should be going off and going harassing people and everything. Like, and that is something that I think a lot of people don't understand when it comes to internet Thing is that it is so easy to send a mob after somebody because you slighted their oshi or like their favorite youtuber or streamer and i don't know if connor's going to talk about everything that's happening with kai sanat and iron mouse right now maybe he will towards the end of this because it's actually kind of insane how much hatred kai's fans have towards iron mouse despite kai himself telling them do not harass iron mouse like her and i are cool we're we're good friends like and yet his audience is just like mm, no and so maybe he'll talk about this but yeah it, it's so sad why is it now that you can just dunk on something that you don't know anything about you don't understand and you didn't bother to research into yep. why is that the norm now why why is it that you just post first and research second oh oh i got some hate about this i'll take it down don't worry about the other 500 videos where i blindly made fun of people i don't understand the sad truth now is that it seems like it's okay if you're a large creator to be a dick to anybody you want or don't like or don't agree with you know <laughs> no that's actually true so funny story um, I, when I first started VTubing, it was really hard for me to make friends and to grow because I had just a lot of like big indie VTubers who just didn't like me for whatever reason. And I, it, it wasn't until this year I started to make friends because a lot of those big indie VTubers either got canceled or a lot of pushback or people just kind of got fed up of them constantly bad mouthing people. And so people started giving me a chance. I've had so many people who have come up to me in private telling me how they never talked to me for years because a, a bigger creator told them that they didn't like me. And it, it hurts my feelings a lot because to think that I, I felt so alone for four years and I struggled because a couple of bigger creators just didn't like me when you know my main channel content was just making tutorials this is my second channel like all I did was make tutorials and advice and try to help people and yeah just I struggled for years because some people just didn't like me or thought I was weird having a large audience is a huge huge responsibility whether mm -hmm. we like it or not we are influencers. We influence yeah. people with our opinions and what we say. I'm sure some people watching this video right now will be influenced by my opinion on all of this stuff. That, that's that's how it goes. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, it's okay now to blindly hate others and send rabid fans to go and attack people and stuff they don't understand. Why? It's hard enough um, just existing right now. Yeah. It is horrible living in this year. It is yeah. a miserable time to be alive. Why are we making it harder for everyone? And if you're a VTuber, because making others feel bad makes us feel better in quotation marks it really doesn't it actually makes you feel worse did you know like it takes more energy to be negative than it does to be positive towards somebody and like you might feel good in the moment making fun of someone but you're still alone nobody likes you still and it's like it, it really doesn't help you in the long run of things it is kind of just accepted now that you just get this level of blind hatred all the time it's mm -hmm. insane. Why is this okay? Anyway, moving on know. with the timeline. Since then, Mouse, and I assume most VTubers have had to deal with insult after insult that is normalized. For Mouse personally, this level of hatred and vitriol escalated another level when Mouse was nominated for the game. Oh my God, not this. Oh God, this is insane. Game Awards. Uh, now the Game Awards have this category uh, for content creator of the year. Obviously, this <laughs> year had a- I'm so sorry. I, I'm so sorry. Massive amount of very, very big creators that I'm sure we're all familiar with. Mm. But to the surprise of Mouse and to most of us, Mouse got nominated. And, and this isn't saying that Mouse didn't deserve it. Mouse had an amazing year. Mouse had raised a ton of money for charity, uh, had broken the all-time sub record for a woman on Twitch, and had done just some of the most amazing shit when you consider that Mouse is bedridden and has to have medication every yeah. single day that completely yeah. changes how any of this would be done and providing uh -huh. such an insane energy to every stream whilst battling a ton of medical issues that are permanent throughout Mouse's life. I think the nomination mm. is deserved. And by some sheer miracle, Mouse had won the award. It yep. was a crazy achievement and nobody expected Mouse to win, to be honest, because Mouse was by far the smallest creator out of the ones that were nominated. But here's the thing about that, Connor, that you're not realizing. So yes, in that is true. Iron Mouse was the smallest creator compared to the other nominees. However, she was the only VTuber that was nominated. You're only factoring in Iron Mouse's community. What about all of the other VTubers in their communities who 
who know that their Oshi looks up to Iremos. I know people in my community were heavily supporting and voting for Iremos during that time and they wanted her to win. And I can guarantee because she was the only VTuber, a lot of the VTubers seen had kind of combined together. This is just my, you know, unhinged crazy theory. I have a lot of those on this show. Um, I believe the reason why she won is it wasn't just because of her own fan base. I believe the entire VTuber community is what influenced her winning that spot. Because when you look at these other three creators that were also on there, I mean, obviously they couldn't outcompete the entire VTuber community. That's my theory. And the game award goes to Iron Mouse. Mm -hmm. So Iron Mouse yeah. couldn't be here tonight because Iron Mouse is animated and sadly we're not in the Matrix yet. Obviously. I do like that comment. That was actually, <laughs> that, I, that is so based. These creators were massive and a lot of their fans that are watching the game awards were a, a bit upset about mouse winning. A bit is like an understatement. They were pissed. Winning the award. This has led to a constant, constant, and I cannot preface this enough, a constant yep. stream of hatred now that mouse has had to deal with openly on all of her socials for years now. This is the level of hatred that is normally, like, I, I, I just gotta show you. I gotta show you. It's like. This is, okay, I'll say it because I don't think Connor's gonna say it. This is the same level of hatred that Pokimain deals with. I'm not saying like, you know, oh, Pokimane's the best like streamer in the world, but like the amount of hatred that Iron Mouse is getting is literally on the same level as what Pokimain gets. And I have been watching um, Twitch and like all the drama for many, many years now. And like I said, it is that same exact level with how constant it's been. Ridiculous. This is 2022. Back when Mouse's comments were pretty normal, I'd say. As you can see here, this is beating Kai. Okay, a little negative and unnecessary, but not that bad. This over Kai, bro, who are you? You know, it's and, and luckily at this point, not all the comments are like this, but they're by far the most liked ones. And it only gets worse the closer we get to today. We all came from that Kai video, right? This is number one streamer. No way blood, this is number one streamer. This is who gets number mm -hmm. one on Twitch. It's an evil world we live in. And you think, okay, maybe something happened at the time. This has been pretty much constant until mm -hmm. now. Because like a lot of Kai's viewers are children. And I'm not saying that to diss Kai's audience. It's like, it's true. A lot of Kai's audience is on the younger scale. So what do kids have more than like adults? Like you, Connor, they got time. They have a lot of free time. And I remember when I was a kid and I was obsessed with stuff. I spent a lot of time, a lot of hours obsessing over the things that I did. And when your obsession is hating on someone and then watching like your favorite streamer, yeah, of course you're gonna go and down every single piece of content and spam just mean nasty stuff. You got the free time to. It's really sad that like, I guess as a child growing up, spending the majority of your time just hating on someone, maybe when they're older, they can reflect on this. I, I hope so, but it's like a very sad way to like spend your childhood. You, you could be doing so much more. Speed and Kai on top. How is the streamer of the year? How is the streamer of the year? This won the award, by the way. Oh, hell nah. Yeah. This is who won. No cap, who's Iron Mouse? Brain rot. This beats Cypher PK. Game awards are wild. Why did you win? No way this won creator of the year. I'm crying. Yeah. This literally goes on and on. And you'd think, okay, mm. look. It's because Mouse won the streamer of the year. It probably stops after that. Oh no. no. So many people are like, post this on Instagram Reels. Post this on Reels. Yep. Oh yeah. See, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I made a video talking about this exact thing. Cause yeah, like, they just, they have a lot of time to just hate on someone. Yeah, great, because uh, love that. Love being toxic on Instagram. Bro, who are you? I'm begging you, please post this on Instagram. Why do people just want to be so cruel? What the f***? Just chill the f*** out, man. Who the f*** is watching this? This thing has the most subs on Twitch. How did you beat Kai? No human mm. being on the planet wearing this. Okay, well, I... <laughs> well, that's Connor. What do you mean? <laughs> I wear it. It's f***ing fire. Okay, jeez. On my life, I've never in my entire life seen a single stream. Why do you care? Why? Like, if I just haven't seen something, I just don't interact. I don't understand what has happened where we all feel the need to, to ha say our opinion and, and be like, yeah, guys, we hate this, right? Who cares? You're a loser. This has gone on for months. And it's pretty much just led to Mouse just not posting on TikTok, which I feel is... She actually removed her profile picture. That is insane. Like, you know, I don't think a lot of these kids realize how much their words can really reflect like don't get me wrong when it's online yes you can ban and delete comments on some platforms and you can just not look at it but you know there comes to a point where when you were getting so 
much harassment constantly and it's all you see it really does skew your view of the world especially like take this for instance remember how connor at the beginning of the video was talking about how how toxic social media has become where like you're always seeing just rage bait or people dying imagine that's all you see every day except instead of it being that it's just people saying nasty mean things about you like i want you who's watching this with me to just sit there and think about how would you deal with every day getting hundreds of comments or maybe you don't make content? What if, how would you feel if you were on like Discord or you have got a bunch of text messages of every single day, just people saying mean things about you? Yeah, you can kind of just not look at it, right? But eventually it will get to you. It does. It will get to you. And a lot of these people don't care because they're just like, well, you know, this person deserves to get this hate. And they sit there and like, they laugh and blah, blah, blah. But you know, at some point in your life, you'll come to realize that being mean like this and continuing to be mean like this, people are not going to like you. And if you're ever wondering why you're super lonely and stuff and you're constantly saying mean things like this to other people, I mean, you reap what you sow. When you continue to be negative, you attract more negativity and like i said it might make you feel good in the moment but in the long run you're still gonna be alone really f***ed up you can just yeah. successfully bully a massive creator off a platform the, the, yeah. the reason why this all happened by the way is just because mouse won an award what and this is just uh, an award online by the way so like it's uh, yeah the stuff that mouse gets on her own socials this doesn't include the hatred that she receives from just existing in those posts from those low tier bait twitter accounts that post can you believe this cartoon is beating mars stream <sighs> guys and it only escalated once more when iron mouse got the all-time sub record on twitch yep. uh, which led to a bunch of news articles tweeting about it and, and people talking about it and unfortunately a lot of people were just why do you keep people typing vtuber v dash tuber that's not how you spell it like <laughs> being blindly hateful and of course this level of hatred doesn't just stay on the platforms you'd expect it to it's also in mouse's chat uh, here is a 85 page document uh, of just some recent bands of people saying the most heinous shit yep. towards mouse like i said it's gone to the level of like pokimane hate and you know pokimane has like a full team of moderators who their only job right because she has a lot of moderators but she has one specific team of moderators whose only job is to just delete and ban people saying mean things. So that way Pokemon doesn't have to see it on her streams. Same thing with like her YouTube comments and stuff. Like she has people who just moderated just to delete the negative comments because that's how much she would see it and it would affect her mental health. Now nah, you're telling me this bitch ass VTuber surpassed Kai Sinek. God, you know, these people are so ugly. You said how Sims donate to this crap. This is the bitch that broke Kai's record. I refuse to believe any of you are real human beings unless you have less than 60 IQ. No one in this chat is real. I've been watching this shit for 10 minutes and I want to myself. How do people watch this shit? you weirdos you'll never get on kai's level you guys know this is a fat guy right i mean she doesn't need to get on kai's level she beat him in something like what do you what do you mean so and the thing is i like kai's content i just don't like his fan base his fan base is just mean well, obviously all those insults a lot of people uh saying that mouse is lying about her illness which i mean yeah i don't, I don't have to tell you why that's wrong like look at this this yeah, is it's psychotic bad. it's bad this is how is this okay? And by the way, this is the list, obviously, that doesn't include the N-word bans, or that would be another yep. 20 pages. Yep. Because of course it would be. Like if, like, if this was my chat, I just would not stream. I would just not stream. Or I would just, like, turn everything on, like, emote or, like, sub-only mode, so that way only subs can... Because, look, if someone's going to insult her, at least they can get money from it. But, yeah, you could also do just emote mode. But that's not a fun way to stream. Like, people choose to stream so that way they can see... You you know, what their community is saying. And it, and here's the thing. The reason why this is a problem is because you're having your own community's comments getting outshined and pushed out from all the negative comments. Because here's the problem. Sometimes the chat moderation isn't the best where like someone could say something really negative and it'll still show up on stream despite it getting erased and like that person getting banned. So the negative stuff will still show up on stream. So if you wanted to have your chat up on the screen, you're still gonna, you know, get those evil like nasty comments because the chat is spamming like so fast the like stream elements and stream labs can't really keep up with like the chat messages so you're still gonna get that evil negative stuff on screen imagine trying to make content and you're doing like a stream highlight video and it's like well now i have to choose do i want to have my chat up on screen and risk potentially people saying the n-word before my moderators can like ban it or like 
like, how do I deal with that? Do I want to just do emote only? It's sad. It's really sad that people are putting her in a tough decision. Like I said, I like Kai's content a lot. I think he's a very creative individual who has done stuff that we've never seen in the Twitch sphere however his audience just just for whatever reason has a lot of free time to hate instead of i don't know maybe supporting kai and like just showing more positivity towards kai and his content like if they spent that same amount of energy hating on iron mouse and instead of doing that chose to support kai more maybe kai would have won like, you know what I mean? Like, direct your energy where it's more positive and constructive, not destructive. Show up. This is, this is, uh, this is f***ed. 100%. Yeah. I want to make this clear. I'm not blaming any creator. Obviously, we saw a lot of people name dropping Kai saying, how, how could this lose to Kai and all that stuff? Yeah. This is not me blaming Kai in any capacity. Yeah. I think his audience is at the size that is absolutely absurd. And, and you, at that level, you, you can try and tell your viewers, hey man, look, mm -hmm. be respectful, which which Kai has on numerous times. Yep, He's he openly praised Iron Mouse and been very supportive towards small creators. Iron Mouse has always been top five all time. She's somebody I had to pass during my first subathon. Now, I know people are defensive. I know a lot of people defend me and shit like that. But Chad, if you actually looked at her stream yep. and actually kept up with what she's doing, you feel what I'm saying? Not only was it for a good cause, but it was pretty well put together. But obviously, you know. Like, do you see that though? Like how supportive he is? That's why I said, I like Kai. I like his content. He literally, he, he literally tells his community, if you actually l cared about me, if you actually wanted to support me, stop being mean to Iron Mouse. And that's why it's like, it, it just, not everyone in Kai's community is toxic like this, but there is that side, unfortunately. And it's a massive side who, personally i feel like they just want to hate because they just want to hate not because they actually care about kai or want to support him i i just think that these are people who just like to hate on something and unfortunately iron mouse is the hot topic to hate right now as a creator you do still have some influence over your viewers and i think it's yeah. important to make sure that when you see this behavior in the community that you call it out and i'm not yeah. entirely sure when this happened online but it feels like it's okay to just blindly make fun or hate something yep. you don't understand or have not learned anything about. But I guess that is more of a reflection of the current times we live in. Yeah, that's true. Because everyone seems to do that all the time. As a creator, I would be embarrassed if I saw my viewers blindly hating on someone else using my name. I would be mortified if I saw mm -hmm. that. And and the one good thing about all you guys is that I know that you don't do that. And I appreciate that mm -hmm. because you're all cool and you're all normally well-adjusted people. Yeah, I know. Somebody from my community was making fun of another creator and I found out about it. That person is getting banned. Like, I don't support or condone any of that kind of harassment. Like, it's just, it's just so messed up. It doesn't make any sense why someone would be like, well, you're you're uh i'm doing this for my oshi it's like no you're not like dude if you're being mean for my honor i don't want you around i hope and look i'll admit i, I don't have a point of this video I, I don't have a plan i was just going crazy looking at all of this open hatred mm -hmm. and losing my mind wondering why this is normal Th that was literally it and that's the reason why i'm making this video and i and i kind of wanted to ask if anyone else or any other vtubers or any other even youtubers uh, if you've experienced this same kind of level of blind hatred yourself um, I have, yeah, I definitely have because, like I said earlier in the video, there, I'm, I've had to work so hard these last four years to just get people to stop believing whatever rumors were being spread about me, and the saddest part is I don't even know what those rumors are because the people who have come up to me in confidence to like tell me about it, they didn't tell me exactly what was said except like maybe two or three people and. From my understanding, the reasoning why when they would ask people, why don't you like Mari? And I sh** you not. The amount of times I have heard somebody say, oh, like, I don't know. I just, she's kind of weird. And like, um, I just, I don't like how her content is. And my main channel content is about showing aspiring VTubers how to become VTubers and how to grow as a VTuber and like the reality of what it's like being a VTuber. So I talk a lot about like the harassment you will get and the negative comments. Like I talk about this stuff. And I think because I, I guess, break the fourth wall talking about those experiences, people don't like that. They want me to just pretend like this negative stuff that happens like Iron Mouse and other creators just doesn't exist. And that's not gonna happen. I'm very open about it because if you want to become a creator, regardless if it's a VTuber or not, I want you to be prepared, not have a mental breakdown because no one ever told you, hey, by the way, when you like post stuff online, you're going to get a lot of like nasty and hateful remarks. Like what? Like what? So after all these years, I'm just constantly being bullied and alone. I was finally able to make friends this year because a couple of good people 
like Evan and Iris and Yumi and my Cora have just been and, and Abby were just so like nice to me and like they gave me a chance and now people are suddenly really fond of me they're like oh Mari isn't all these things that like we were room and honestly whoever the VTubers were that spread all that shit about me for all these years and stuff like ma'am <sighs> I hope you learn and grow from this I I have a feeling that you probably won't but like if you somehow come across this you know just know that like you reap what you sow so I, I hope one of these days you can grow and learn from it. I'd love to hear about it. Just so uh, that I know that I'm not going crazy. I hope we can yeah. have a civilized and good discussion in the comments. And so with that, I wish you all the best of luck. Don't mm. let these urinal cake eating children distract you from what you want to do in life. Now I'm going to go drink a beer. Bye. <laughs> I don't blame him, man. I really don't. I think it's really weird how all this bait content has become normalized and how it's suddenly okay to just hate something or someone because you either don't understand or you don't like it. But I hope that people can learn some self-compassion moving forward. I'm not really sure what the answer is, like Connor was saying, to the change, other than to just, I guess, try to raise a community that's a lot more understanding and compassionate because at the end of the day dude like it's got to be so exhausting to spend so much of your time just hating someone that is so much energy that you know you don't have to be focused on that you don't like you cannot be having an amazing life to look wake up and look forward every day to just making fun of somebody that has to be just a miserable existence and i don't know about you but i don't want to have a miserable existence i want to enjoy my time here while i still can so like I, I, it's just a mindset and i hope that moving forward we can help encourage a more open-minded mindset and try to live a more positive life because man this is oh boy this can't be fun to experience so let me know what your thoughts in the comments down below about this like are you a fan of iron mouse like have you been seeing this kind of unnecessary hate like how would you kind of go about making changes to it like i'm curious to know what your experiences are down in the comments and with that thank you all so much for watching today and remember everything reminds you of something bye